I would call them mistakes, but maybe a misunderstanding of how certain things work. And one common thing I see is, well, the signal levels are okay. And I, you know, so what on earth could be causing the problem? And it's important to understand that, that RF signal levels don't necessarily tell us much beyond what the power per signal is, the RF power per signal. And it doesn't really tell, tell a whole lot about what's going on under the hood, so to speak. There can be all kinds of issues happening with the signal, um, even if the signal levels are good. And then other times people say, well, the signal levels are a little low. Is that the problem? It may not be, because the, the nice thing about digital signals is they're very, very robust with the powerful error correction that's available. And one other thing related to signal levels, and these, I think these are all related, um, and that is uh, the test equipment being used. And I like to ask the question, when was the last time your field, uh, field strength meter or signal level meter was calibrated at the factory? And you know, the 